Hello humans, welcome back. If you don't know me, my name is Yelly or Yellbell Beauty here on YouTube, Instagram, Threads, and TikTok. So today we are going to be duping some palettes. I think that as we're getting into the fall, there are gonna be more releases. I am doing a no buy for September. I save myself some coin, <laughs> you know, not buy makeup obsessively, maybe pan some things. I'd like to pan some things by 2024, so that'll be, I think, a video or a reel in its own right. But we are going to be duping two palettes today, so grab your iced coffee, let's grab your singles, and let's get started. Okay, so the first one I want to dupe is the new Nomad Ghost Town USA palette. I love a Nomad palette. I think you all know that if you saw my palette inventory video, you know that I have many, many the Nomad palette. Specifically to dupe this, I'm going to be using Stephen of Fortitude's swatches. So I'm going to put their swatches on the screen. And if you don't know who they are, I'm going to link them down below. Make sure to give them a follow. They do amazing swatches and they are also just the sweetest human. So highly recommend checking Stephen out. So. Let's get started with this palette. I really need to label. These are my palettes with all my singles in them. I really need to label these. You'll notice some of them do have labels and they're wrong. I think we will start with the mattes here. This one I think might be a little difficult, some of these mattes. So let's see. The first matte in particular looks like a dusty brown. Okay. I think this shade from Juvia's Place is a pretty good contender. It's like that dusty, taupey brown. So I'm actually gonna pull that in. Next we have kind of what I'd call like a chocolatey brown, but like a deep chocolatey brown. This I think is the, the essence of what we're looking for, but if we had this but a little bit darker, so I'm actually gonna swatch that out. This is from uh, Pixie Glow's collab with Black Moxie Cosmetics. It does not have a name, it's from the palette. This one is also from the palette and it's <laughs> covered in glitter. So let's see what else we might have, but that's a contender for sure. This might be a little too red. This is from the Shroud Divinity palette. It's called Freya. Oh yeah, that's lighter and it's quite red. Let's see what we got in Dandelions Co. and Sydney Grace. So I believe this one is like ra chocolate raspberry or something like that. In comparison to how red that one from Shroud is, it looks very purple almost. I don't even know if you can see that. Let me take off my watch so it's not like distracting. Kind of messed up my swatches there, but you get the general idea. So I don't think that's quite a match. This one is also very similar to that other one. What is this shade? Okay, this is the chocolate raspberry one. What is this one? Sweet Tooth. Ah, oh, that's from the Sweet Indulgence palette. Let's try. This is not as warm. This is also from the Sweet Indulgence palette. This one is more of a cool toned brown, but it looks pretty warm. We have this one. This one also looks very similar to these. This one in particular was if you watched that episode where I opened the Sydney Grace Christmas in July box that I got, there were two shadows in there that I couldn't explain where they came from. I don't know if they were like, if you ordered them the day that I order, they were like a freebie or something, but I didn't order them. It was, this was one of them, it's voila. And then this was the other one, this like purpley one, it's called Cupid. I have no idea where they came from, but I think, let's double check really quick with the Mel's bundle or some of my ColourPop ones that I have over here, or Natasha Denona, but let's, uh, let's, see before I call it and pick that other one. This one's quite dark. It is much more like cool toned though. That's really like the only true brown in here. A lot of these lean very green. Okay. I pulled out my, my all, like all of my magnetic palettes. So let's see where we might have some browns. This is the Kaleido Sashimi City palette. It's too light, so not that. 
I don't think there's any browns in here. You know, I never filmed a video with this, even though a lot of you said you wanted to see it. Let me know down below if you want me to do a video with this. I was thinking of doing a shroud palette bingo, and then I was like, wait, did I ever even do anything with this? So, I definitely did an Instagram look, but... This is the Sydney Grace and Temptalia palette. This one is the Radiant Reflection, I think, right? No, this is the Quintessence one. I don't see any browns in here. Let me pull Radiant Reflection. I actually forgot that one. It's in my Focus palettes for this month. So here's Radiant Reflection. This one also has like a reddish brown in it, but I think it's gonna be too red. Oh my God, that's like purple in comparison. Do you see that? It's this one right here. Okay, so that's a no. These have no browns in them. This has no brown in it. This has no brown. That's too cool toned. That was the shade Aspiration from the Natasha Denona My Dream palette. The Love palette has no browns. There's no browns in here and there's no browns in here. Up. This one is the packaging from the child, but it's kind of just like a Franken palette right now. There are no deep browns in here. There's no deep browns in here. This is all red. I don't think any of these are deep enough. Yeah, I mean, that's more gray in comparison. So we're gonna go with that shade from Carolina Pixie Glow's palette. So this brown right here. And we're gonna grab some micellar water because now my hand is covered in brown shadows. Okay, so the next shade that I see is like, a, it looks like it might be a very deep brown. So that actually brings me back to the Mel's Memory Bundle. So for those of you that didn't know, I had put these in here that like when I got this palette from Delaney, I had this custom made to match the colors and then I popped them in and I didn't know the names. So what I did was I went online and I printed out a picture of the palette and then I cut it out and wrote the names on it so I know what's there. So obviously these are just paper, like these didn't come with Delaney's palette, but this shade Beyond I think might be a good one, which is like just a very deep brown. So I'm gonna pull that one. The next few shades that Steven swatched out are shimmers. So we're gonna skip over those for now. And then we're gonna move over to the top right. They swatched out like a blue gray. That's a very interesting shade. I'm not sure I have something quite like that actually. Let's see what we can do, but I, I don't know if I have anything like that. There's certainly not anything blue in here, so I'm gonna put this off to the side. A blue gray. I know I have like, this is like a purple gray. Yeah, there's really nothing in here that kind of like screams blue gray to me. I don't really know if this leans blue at all. This is Bastet. I think I'm saying, I don't know if I'm saying that wrong, but it's from the Shroud Divinity palette. It, I mean, it's just gray, you know, it's not like blue gray. I don't think there's anything else in here. I mean, it's almost like this shade, but darker. It's almost the shade with a with a darker base. So it's like if these two had a had a baby. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. So the of quartz palette comes to mind, but this might just be like a gray. So yeah, that's like a a true gray. That's a no. just like a navy blue there's definitely nothing in here nothing in here yeah I don't see anything in here reaching zenith might be the closest we get like I don't think it's perfect but it might be the closest I think this one in particular, Interstellar, will also be good for the palette, but let's put this to the side. There's nothing in here like that. I don't think anything in here is like that either. No. 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 
Okay, I mean, the Natasha Denona palettes are definitely our, like, Hail Mary here, but I don't think there's gonna be anything like it. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I have a gray in any Natasha Denona palette. I think we're just gonna have to go with this one, so we're gonna go with this right here, which is reaching zenith okay next is like a deep teal so i think this shade in particular interstellar is a good one i think the one in this palette is darker but i think it'll do and then there's like am i looking at this correctly that it's such a deep teal it's almost a black hmm I don't know if I have anything like that either. This might be like a really hard palette for me to dupe. I mean, what I could do is put this lighter one in and then make this the next one. That could be a option. It's Adams from Betty Jean's palette. It's just too light. Oh. Sentinel from Moonfall is probably good. So what I'll do is I'll put that one lighter teal, Interstellar, and then I'll put Sentinel, right? They're different. No, maybe it goes, I don't know. We'll, we'll put those in. I think those are gonna be the deepest teals I have. We'll do a quick comparator, but I'm gonna pull Sentinel first. Let's see if I have anything else that dark. Yeah, that's just like very bright in comparison. There's no teals in here. I know there's a teal in here, but it's one of those like cream to powder shadows. It is deep though, but in comparison, oh, maybe it is deeper. Maybe that's an option. Yeah, and there's no dark teals in here. Okay, let's check some Dandelions Co. Sydney Grace shadows. Oh, we have this from Dandelions Co. What is this? Sage? That could be an option. I think this is just like a true green. I think this is Island Paradise from Sydney Grace. Yeah, it's just much more like a true green. So let's let's do some swatches comparing here. Sage from Dandelions Co. Sentinel from Shroud. And then this is Interstellar from Sydney Grace. I don't know if it's picking up in the camera, but Interstellar looks more blue than these two. But I worry that these are so similar, it's just not going to make a difference. Okay, I guess we'll pull Sage and put Interstellar back. This right here is Acrobat from the Natasha Denona Circo logo. Next to these, it, lo it also looks very blue. Do I have a lethal shadow like this? No, I don't have any lethal shadows like that. Oh, I do have, this is from a Pacifica palette. I believe this is called Black Tourmaline. It was like a Precious Gems palette. My sister-in-law got it for me like two holidays ago and I depotted all the shades because I thought it was really pretty and I wanted them in my BYOPs. I mean, it looks a lot like the other ones, right? Okay, let's do these two. So I believe this is Black Tourmaline and Sage. And then we'll put Sentinel back. Next ones I'm seeing are like true greens. They're not teals, they're true greens. So hold, let me get the teal off of my hand. There's like a lighter dusty green and then a deeper green, and then there's a, like a dark brown. So for the lighter dusty green, this might be too dark. This is Envy from Dandelions Co. Oh yeah, that's like too bright. 
This is Island Paradise from Sydney Grace. That's even like, I think, too gray based for this. Next to a green that looks very gray, but it's a green. What is this one? Wonderful World from Sydney Grace. This is also like a khaki, but it just looks very brown right now. Interesting. This is Wintergreen from Dandelions Co, but too light. It's like the base of this with the color of this, you know? This one is Float Your Crib, and this is a Little Frog. These are actually in the right spot in the palette. This one might be the closest. This is a little frog. Let's uh, see what we have in the Mel palette. This is Honeydew. The base on it is just like too light. Like if it were grungier. This one's Turtle Bay. I think this is gonna be too dark. Yeah. Here's Moon Moss from Shroud. That is for sure the closest so far. So I'm gonna pull that one. The only other place I could maybe find one would be the Natasha Denona Yucca palette. But I just don't know if it's gonna be any closer than anything I've pulled thus far. These are just too bright. This is just too blue. Green in here, I think, is going to be a little too yellow based. Oh, wow. And that's much brighter than in the pan. Yeah. So we're just going to go with that shade from the Moonfall palette, Moon Moss. The darker green. Here's Turtle Bay from Sydney Grace. I think it has too much blue in it. We do, of course, have Island Paradise from Sydney Grace. That might be the closest we're gonna get. We have Float Your Crib from ColourPop. It's just like a little too olive. This is also quite olive, but this is from Carolina's palette. Oh yeah, that's like a straight up olive. So here's the Yucca palette. This is a cream to powder, but it might be the closest. You know what the worst part is? I totally had a green that looked like this from Juvia's Place, and in my recent declutter, I got rid of it. Yeah, it's just not dark enough. I think we're gonna go with this right here. No, wait. I think we're gonna go with this right here, which is Island Paradise from Sydney Grace. And after that is like an olivey brown. So we have this, which is Wonderful World from Sydney Grace. It's more like, this looks almost like ashy, but not in a bad way, but we need something with like a browner base. I don't think this is gonna work. This is Flax from the Natasha Denona Yucca palette. No. This is Relax from Sydney Grace. Mm, just too light. Here's the brown from Electro Turquoise. I mean, it's not really green at all, but this might, it might just have to be, we just have to pull it brown. Yeah, I think this is the best we're gonna get, is a brown, so let's just pull it. Oh, fuck. This always happens with a brown shadow. There must be something in the darker pigments that are magnetic, but a magnet will, like, grab a piece of the shadow up and then, like, it'll get all over the magnet. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to depot this with tweezers. 
Okay, so this is the shade Wired from Kaleidos. Wow, that's a pretty small panic comparison to the others, huh? Okay, is that all the mats? I feel I am missing a mat. So let's let's do a quick check in here and organize these things. So first there's a row of shimmers, which we haven't done yet. Then there's mats, which are all browns of some type. So I think it goes this, which looks quite light in the pan on theirs. Then this. Then this almost looks like a reddy brown, so maybe it's more like this. Then another row of shimmers. No, actually it's this. And then it goes these. And then another row of shimmers. And then I'm confused by this. How are these so different when they're swatched? What did I pull this one for? This is that like blue based gray. This I guess goes here in my mind and this goes here. This one needs to be repressed. I'm not sure what's going on here that it keeps like cracking from one side. So Maybe once I get the shimmers in, I'll feel a little bit better about this. I don't know, maybe the pans are just very deceiving. I'll show you like the pans versus Steven swatches. Steven swatches are very spot on generally. So I'm gonna go with deceiving in the pan because this shade looks like a very light brown in the pan, but in their swatches, they're like gray, you know? Yeah, and Nomad swatches, those are like also gray. Yeah, the pan must just be very deceiving. That's where we're at with the mattes. So let's do the shimmers now. There is like a coppery one. Let's see what the top one is. It's like a golden cream. It looks like it might be some sort of duochrome with green in it, which the first thing that comes to mind is, uh, what is that one from the, the Natasha Denona Gold Palette Kava, I think. But maybe I have something else like that. Then it goes like a copper. And then it's like a burgundy shade. So let's uh, let's see what we've got here. So for that like gold with green, we have, this is from Carolina's palette. I think this is just like straight up gold though. This is like the color of the base of it. This would be like a good backup option if I have nothing. This is all... There's going to be nothing like that in here. However, for that like purpley shade, this Cupid, this could work. So I'm going to pull that on the side. For that like goldish one, I think this is Harvest Moon, right? Yeah, this is Harvest Moon from Pretty's for Your Face. But that is just like straight up gold. For the copper, I think of this one. This is a blaze from Praise for Your Face. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. So I'm gonna pull that one in for the copper. I don't see anything in here that will give me that like gold green. Okay, let's see. Gold green, gold green. I don't think I have anything from Terra Moons like that. Or a touch of glam. Okay. This one is like really a tough palette for me to dupe. It's kind of surprising. Okay, nothing in here that I can point to. Oh, hey, but this could have been good for one of those greens and I completely overlooked it. This is probably from the Divinity palette. This is Shroud. Milda. Yeah, it's definitely from the Divinity palette. Let's compare that to Moon Moss from Shroud. I think Milda is actually the better one, the better match, so let's swap these. Okay, so we'll put Moon Moss back in the palette it came from. Now this is like a gold to green artifact, but 
it's like much more obviously green than that shadow. This is, I think, closer to a yellow. Yeah, this is from Teresa's Dead's collab with Lethal. I bet I do have something from Davina. There's no way I don't. So we have this one. This one is also probably just more obviously a gold with a green base. It needs to be more like neutral in base. Too light. This is just like a true gold. You don't have something from Davina like this. That's just like a green. It's closer to the base of that one. This one might be a good option. Again, I could just pull Kava, but let's check Quicksand Cosmetics. Okay, so this is Quicksand Mon Professional Shine by SD. This is from Mon Professional. This is called Warrior. Ah, that's just like straight up a gold. Maybe it is just like a gold and I'm, you know, making up that it has some sort of shift in there, but... A shift would be exciting. <laughs> so let's just uh, grab the Natasha Denona gold palette here. Oh wait, actually, in the, the Sashimi City palette has this shade right here. I think that would actually be a really good dupe. It does have, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it does have green glitter in it. So let's actually pull this shade. Where are the tweezers? before I can't get this out with a magnet. Okay, this is Penthouse from Kaleidos. So for that last shade, that like burgundy brown one, we pulled Cupid from Sydney Grace. And I feel fine about that, I think. It's like a brownie red. I don't know if I have anything else like that, honestly. This one is My Constellation. It's from the Sydney Grace collab with Temptalia. Here's Cupid, which I originally pulled. I think my constellation's probably closer, actually. But let's just see if there's anything else here. This is Scrumptious Serendipity. This one's like between these two. Holding it up to the photo that Steven has, it looks like it's probably closest to Scrumptious Serendipity. So I'm gonna pull that one from, this is the Radiant Reflection palette, I think. Yeah. And then we will put Cupid back. Okay, next I'm seeing a True Silver. I have a few in mind for this one, actually. So let's uh, put this back first, though. It belongs here. Where did I just put the eyeshadow, though? I was like, let's put it back, and then Put the eyeshadow not at all in my line of sight. Ah, there we go. Okay, so for that silver, we have a few things. This one's a little purple based, but this is Happy Accident from Sydney Grace. This is Moonstone from Pacifica. This one's closer with like a blue in it. You could see there's a difference there. I believe this is Overdrive from Lethal. This is a silver. So the Pacifica one leans more blue and Overdrive leans more white. Obviously we have Hello Hollow from Touch of Glam, which is a hollow silver. We also have these two hollows from Touch of Glam. This is Honey Hollow. This is Dragon Hollow, I think. No, this one's Dragon Hollow. This is what? Lucid Hollow. So Lucid Hollow has like a bluey purple base on it. And then Honey Hollow has kind of like a topier base. 
from Produce For Your Face, we have this one, which I think is Noel from the Christmas collection. Yeah. That one's deeper than the rest of them for sure. Then we have, where's the other one? Quintessence has a few silvers in it. So this is Sirius Starlight. And then the Milky Way I think has a shift. I don't know if this is like a true silver. Oh yeah. I don't know if you could see that, but it has like a pink shift. So I think the closest, because this is kind of a bluish silver, is Moonstone from Pacifica. So let me pull that in. Is this Moonstone though? This might be something else. No, this is Moonstone from Pacifica. The other one would be this one. This is probably Aquamarine. They're all, yeah. But this one might be a little too blue. Yeah, so let's, let's take Moonstone. Then it's like... a taupe shimmer? I think. Yeah, that looks pretty taupe. Okay. It's like... What is the shade I'm thinking of? It's almost like cider from Terra Moons. It has like that weird like greeny brown base, but it's like a taupe shift. I actually don't have cider from Terra Moons. I broke it a long time ago. I'm thinking like the shadow that's coming to my mind that I'm thinking of is actually in the Beauty Bay uh, Book of Magic palette, but it's not magnetic. So I have to have something from Davina like this. There's no way that I don't. This one is Frozen Waves. This is Rockstar, but I think it's just gonna be too gray. Yeah. I could just pull in one of the uh, moonscapes. I think this is too light. We might come back to this one. Here's Pretties for Your Face and Copacetic. This is, I think this one's Jolt. That could be an option. This one I think is, no, this one's Calicor. I don't remember what this one is. Asteroid. That one's almost purple. This one's Calicor. They're not very good swatches because they're like really chunky, but this one is what? Io? That one's almost like a rose gold. This one is Nightingale. That might be the closest. I think it's a little too deep, but I do think like the essence of the shadow is there. So I'm gonna pull this one. Then the next one is like, it looks like a black based, like burgundy purple. The first one that comes to mind, oh no, that's actually much more red. Never mind. Black based burgundy purple. I mean, this one's like really purple. This is from Pretty's for Your Face. It's from a Halloween collection. I can't remember what it's called. Let's see. Scorched. I think it's just like too purple, actually. This is another one. This is, oh, I used to know the name of this, but I don't anymore. Current. Yeah, it's just like too blue of a purple, not like a red purple. Okay, let's see what we got here from Davina. 
I don't know if I necessarily have like a burgundy. This is like much more red than what we're looking for. And then this is much more purple, <laughs> somewhere between here. I do have this. I think this is Scorched from Cleona. This might be the closest. And then I think this, one of these is Scorched and one of these is Flame Blown. I think this is Scorched and this is Flame Blown. And then Natasha Denona, my dream palette. I think Instinct is the only thing like that. And this is like a trichrome, so it's not even gonna. Yeah. Oh, I actually, where is, did I even look in here? I have so many purples in here, but I actually don't think I have anything like that. That's so interesting with all the purples that I have in here. Okay. We could also pull Cupid back in. I mean, it's probably a little bit more red than what I'm looking for. Aha. Uh -huh. This is Crimson Rose from Luxy. Hmm. It's much pinker than it was in my memory. This is B, no, this is, what is this one? Boss Lady or something? Boss Lady from Touch of Glam. That's kind of what I pictured that Crimson Rose was gonna look like in my mind. That's pretty close. I never remember what these Sandman shades look like because they're marbled. That's like the downside of this. It's really beautiful to look at, but like you could really never tell. Uh, like two actual purple about you. What color do you make? Like a silver, okay. Oh God, I don't even know how to say this. Quidish? Cutish from Shroud? Oh, that's like way too purple. Uh, I'm torn between that Cleona one and this one. I think I'm gonna go with, what does it look like in the pan? I think I'm gonna go with the Cleona one. I think it could like spice it up a little bit, you know? This is Smolder from Cleona, which means this is flame blown, I think. And then this is Bloodline. I never remember these. I only remember like ones that are super weird, like Ripple, because it's not like any, like I have a lot of purples from Cleona, so I mix them all up. Regal, I think this one's Throne, this is Crown Jewel, and then the rest of them, it's like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> one of these is Kaleidoscope, and the other one is something about the sun. Okay, we're gonna pull in Smolder from Cleona. Next, we're getting to those greens. So, immediately, right off the bat, this shade from Davina for that greeny gold. This is Celesta. I'm gonna pull that in. And then there's one that's still like, it's like an olivey gold, but it's still a green. Like it's a grungy green. And I'm thinking of, this is Sophia from Carolina's collab with Black Moxie. So I'm gonna pull that in. And then there's like, is this a black with sparkles in it? Let's see, Steven did some like moving swatches, let's see. Yeah, it kind of does look like it's a black with sparkles in it. Looking at it in the pan, it looks like it's like a gunmetal, like a dark silver. I don't think I have anything quite like that. Like if we're talking like black with sparkles, we have Rock On from ColourPop. This is a black with sparkles, like that's literally what it is. This is Ore. I mean, I think that the spirit of this is it's Britney Brit it's Britney Brit <laughs> this is it's Britney bitch from Touch of Glam the spirit of this 
is like what we're looking for, but the glitter is silver and not red like that. I love this shadow, such a great shadow. Don't think anything in here, like this is also kind of the same idea. This is Mona Lisa from Quicksand. It's basically like it's Britney Bitch, but the base is like a dark, dark blue. This is Commitment from Natasha Denona. This is the Love Palette. Mm, I don't know why I thought that had sparkles in it. It does not. This is Rover from Sydney Grace. It's much more like a brown, but it does have like those silver elements to it. This might be as close as we're gonna get, honestly. This is Phosphines from the Radiant Reflection palette. It's just like very purple of a silver. Yeah, I just really might not have anything like this. This palette has been really hard to dupe. I will give Nomad that. This is for sure unique. <laughs> um, hmm. Don't know what to do here. I guess I'm just gonna pull in Or from ColourPop. It is the darkest silver that I have, I think, unless Yule from Pretties for Your Face is darker, but I don't think so. I didn't consider this because it has gold glitter, but this is Black Flame Candle from Pretties for Your Face. I think I might actually just pull this in. This, I think, has like the spirit of it. By the way, I don't think I mentioned this in this video, but I do have a Pretties for Your Face affiliate code. You could use code YELBELBEAUTY on your order to save you money that is affiliated. This was actually quite difficult to do. So here is my dupe of the palette. I will again put Steven's swatches and just like general photo of the palette here and you could see how different they look. I think I made a lot of compromises here. But I think the spirit of it is captured. And I think that that's what a lot of duping the vibes is, right? Like when you don't have something perfect but it's close and it could kind of satisfy that hunger for you to get this palette this, I think, could satisfy my hunger for this palette. So let's do some swatches. Okay, fun fact. I thought my camera was recording when I was doing swatches, and it wasn't. And you will see momentarily that I also missed the first part of the next palette that we're doing. So here's the finished product. These are some swatches I did in my backyard later that day. I think that it really captures the essence of what I'm looking for. And I do feel really satisfied with this. This was very difficult to build. I remember I felt so physically exhausted almost <laughs> from building this palette. And it is really satisfying to see how good it looks to me. And I am really excited to make some looks with it. So without further ado, let us skip into the middle part of making an Adept palette now. So as I just said, I missed recording the first portion of this palette, so there will already be four shades in the palette. I'm going to talk about how I feel they are close or not. Aside from being on a low buy slash no buy right now, there are reasons that I don't purchase from Adept Cosmetics. I do have one palette from Adept. I've talked about this before. I want all of you to make, obviously, your own informed decision on where you will consume I had purchased a palette from Adept, and then later I found out that there was some controversy. At this time, I do not feel comfortable purchasing from Adept due to that controversy. In short, my understanding is that a creator with a disability reached out to Adept to let them know that their website was not ADA compliant or not disability friendly, and Adept didn't really take the feedback very well, so that is why I am not purchasing from Adept right now. And that is really up to you to make the decision where you will or won't purchase things. I'm not going to sway your mind for that. But if you're wondering why I, you know, would not consider buying this palette in the future, that is why I don't see that I will be purchasing anything from Adept from the foreseeable future. Okay, so I just put the first four shades in the palette and then realized I wasn't filming. So I'm going to go through the shades and give you my justifications. So first, this is Mystic Moon Pie from Davina. I think this captures the spirit of that shadow. Do I think it's an exact dupe? No. Then we have, this is Gingerbread from Aluxi. Again, 
it captures the spirit, it has that champagne, but this has some blue shifts to it. This was the hardest one. This took up a majority of the time I was not filming. Okay, this is Midnight Sun from Davina. This shade in the palette is like a shade I don't have in my collection. I swatched every sort of red black based shade I have. I even swatched every like actually red no matter the base shade that I have. I don't have anything like this shade. So I picked Blood Moon. And then this is Athena's Rose from Quicksand Cosmetics. So I think that this is actually a near perfect dupe for the shade that is right there. Okay, after that ramble, if you have a dupe for that red shade, let me know because it is a beautiful red shade, but I have nothing like it. I thought that like Ceres from Terra Moons might work. It's too bright of a red. I tried Jupiter's Inferno. It's like too deep of a pink. If there is like a shimmer out there that looks like that, let me know. So we've been doing the shimmers first and then I'll come back to the mattes. This palette is very shimmer heavy. The next two, while they both look very different in the pan, the first one looks teal in the pan and then the one under it looks purple in the pan. Swatched out, it looks like the same eyeshadow right next to each other. And it looks like a pink to green duochrome for both of them. So I'm gonna pick like a pink to green duochrome for one of them and then like get some more creative license here or maybe I'm gonna do what they are in the pan, but I'm not sure yet. So looking in the pan at that first one that's like turquoise, the first one that I thought of just looking at that, this is La Lune from Terra Moons. This is what I'd expect it to look like if it was swatched out, something like this. The other one that came to mind was Ripple from Cleona. No, Cleona's not in here. So this is Ripple from Cleona, which is like the exact shade that that shade is in the pan. But it is actually that shade, you know, it's not... It has a slight purple shift, but it's not what that shade looks like when it's swatched out, you know? This is Half Sea Fog from Davina. This is one of the newer ones. This could work. I'm still like kind of thinking La Lune. This one is Bizarre from M. Jones and Bizarre Volta's Shine by SD collab. And then this one next to it is Emerald Tablet from the same collab. So that's Emerald Tablet. That's Bizarre. Ooh. I think I'm going to go with Bizarre. And then for the next one, I was actually thinking Evil Olive from Quicksand Cosmetics. So this is a green with a purple base. So you know how like multichromes could have a black base behind them? This has purple behind it. I don't know if you could quite see the base on there, but instead of black in the background, it's purple. So I'm gonna pull that in. The next shade is a matte, so we'll skip over that. Then there is like a yellowy orange. So the first one that came to mind is actually it, an orange. I don't know why, but Escape Velocity, Velocity, Escape Velocity from Quicksand was the first one that came to mind. But this one has like a pink shift. This is Mother Pucker from Mon Professional. I hit pan in it the other day. This is a new one from Davina. It's called Sunset Sands. It's much more of like a true gold. This one is Frothy Surf from Davina. This is new from Pretty's For Your Face. This is Draco. It looks very much like Fairy Fire or Fiesta from Copacetic. All the new ones I got from Pretty's For Your Face are like direct dupes for things in my collection. I don't know why I did this. I'm gonna be honest, I think it's because the swatches looked very different. I don't remember this looking like this or I would not have purchased it because looking at this, I'm like, oh, that's Fairy Fire. Oh, that's Fiesta. I think I'm gonna go with 
escape velocity, which is this one right here from quicksand. Oh wait, I skipped a row. That's the problem. Okay, we'll just do the shade under that, but this is the last row. The shade under that is like a silvery hollow, which where is Touch of Glam? We don't even have to look. Hello Hollow from Touch of Glam. Okay. So to the left of that, we're gonna go backwards. Okay, I know why now I thought that that was the yellow. While this looks brown in the pan or like a gold, like an old gold, it swatches like a yellowy orange. So, I kind of think Sunbeam Citrine might look really good there. From Quicksand, it has a slight green shift. The other one that I thought of looking at that in the pan is one of the new Davina shades. This one, it's called, oh no, this is Sweetie Sunbeam. This is an old shade, I think. I think I was actually thinking about this, this new shade, Sunset Sands, which is like a gold. I'm gonna put in, hmm. hmm, this might be too light. This is Solar Rainbow from MBA. Oh yeah, that's like too peach. Okay, I'm, mm, I could put in Fairy Fire. Again, I'm just like all over the place, aren't I? So here's Fairy Fire from Davina. Here's Mother Pucker from Mon Professional. This is like very much what it looks like swatched out. Aura, it's very close to Escape Velocity. I don't, these, like, it's crazy to me that these look like one thing in the pan and they swatch out differently. I understand the nature of a multi-chrome, but this looks, like, drastic. I don't know what's going on with these swatches. It is kind of shocking to me how different these look. I don't know, these swatches are very deceiving, especially those two right next to each other that look the same to me. <sighs> Maybe I'll pull in, like, a more of a true yellow. I'm just gonna put in Sunbeam Citrine. Now the one under that is like an orangey red. So for that, the two that come to mind are this is Eternal Flame from Mon Professional, and then that new one from Pretties for Your Face that looks just like it. Dragon's Breath. Eternal Flame actually might have more of a gold shift where Dragon's Breath might have more of like a yellow shift, but if I put these on my eye, I don't know if I'd be able to tell the difference to be quite honest with you. I'm gonna pull in Dragon's Breath. Those are all the shimmers in that palette. So now we're gonna pull in the bottom row, which is mattes. So the first that we see is like a khaki brown. Mel's bundle comes to mind for this. This is Vanguard from Sydney Grace. That's Vanguard. This is Bravo from Sydney Grace. That's more green. This is Relax from Sydney Grace. The closest one for sure is Vanguard. Now, the other ones that come to mind are Juvia's Place and Ace Butte. So this is from the Juvia's Place Nomad palette, and this is Golden Apple from Ace Butte from the Classical Paradise palette. These look more green though. It would be almost like this, but darker, you know what I mean? I'm actually gonna put in Golden Apple, I think. It would be like if Vanguard had this shade in it, but I wanna keep the shade so the depth doesn't matter as much to me. Okay, next is a very light yellow. I know I have a shade from Dandelions Co. that looks like this. This is Pollen Puff from Dandelions Co. 
really light yellow. Gonna put that in. Next is like a deep green. This is Wonderful World from Sydney Grace. That's actually, looking at the swatches, a near perfect dupe. So I'm gonna put that in. Okay, next there is like a pinky peach. There are probably ones in here that could do it, but interestingly, there's a shade in the House of L palette that I think looks like that. Am I crazy? Are they reusing a shade? I guess that's a brighter peach, it's more pale. I'm gonna, oh wait, actually I have one more that I think might be good for this. Yeah, this is, I think it's Cone from Jeffree Star. My label on the back came off. I think this is Cone, it's from the Jawbreaker palette. Lastly, there is just like a deep red. So we have a few options for that. These two are from the Ace Bute Classical Paradise palette. One is clay and I think the other is soil, right? Earth, this one is earth. I think this one's clay, right? And this one is clay. Life from Dandelions Co. It's kind of too bright of a red. This is Temper from Dandelions Co. That might be good. This is Cepheus from Terra Moons. Okay, this is Aphrodite from Shroud and this is Shortcake from Shroud. Wow, Shortcake is much more neon than I thought it was, huh? This is from a Jeffree Star palette. I think it's called Cherry Wet. It's somewhere like between these. This one's like quite bright. This one I swatched. These are more brown. Here's a red from Viseart. It's also quite bright. Oh, we didn't even consider this. This is a whole palette of reds. I think that one is actually the closest. This is Cerise, Cerise, or was that Black Cherry? That's Black Cherry right here. Okay, where is the magnet? Okay, we did it. This was the hardest duping video of my life. Oh my God, <laughs> why was this so difficult? And I'm gonna be so stained now. Good thing I did the reds last. Here is our finished dupe of the Adept Sumerian Sunset palette. This has been such a difficult video. I am literally mentally exhausted. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> oh my God, I needed to do brain teasers or something. Why was this so hard for me? Okay. So let's do some swatches and we will be done. So I thought it wasn't entirely fair that you got a full, you know, nice photographed in the sunlight photo of the other palette and not this one. So I decided to pop this one in here. So this is my finished dupe for the Adept palette. I think it actually came out really nice. I love this mixture of colors together. The one thing, again, would be I wish I had a dupe for that one red shade in the second row. So if you do have a dupe for that, let me know. I'll pick it up after I know by in September. This really excites me and I can't wait to use this actually. I think that it'll really stretch my creative legs and I just, you know, looking at this feel such a sense of accomplishment just like I do with the Nomad palette. 
Okay, so here are our two finished palettes. Again, this one is duping the new Nomad Cosmetics palette, and this is duping the new Adept Cosmetics palette. Thank you so much for joining me today on the most chaotic duping day of my life, but I think we got the general vibes. Let me know down below. Did you get these palettes? Did you dupe these palettes? Do you think that I maybe should have picked something else for my dupes? I am interested to hear your thoughts. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up with your glittery, disgusting stand hands. And I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay weird. Bye!